Nowadays, we don't think much about transportation. We can go from the west coast to the east coast in just a few hours. But transportation was not always that easy. In the past, people didn't have cars. How did they get around? They had to use their own feet or animals and even wagons to move around. Transporting people and goods was slow, uncomfortable, and very difficult. It took many months to go from one side of the United States to the other. As a result, economies were mostly local. That means that people would sell and buy goods near where they lived. But this all changed in the 1800s with innovations that revolutionized transportation in America. It all started on water. In 1807, Robert Fulton built the first successful steamboat in America. It was used for commercial purposes, and it was called Claremont. The steamboat became very popular in rivers, and it carried people and goods in large numbers up and down the rivers in America. Now, people could travel more quickly. Traveling by water became the main way to move around. This changed when railroads were invented. In 1830, Peter Cooper built the first American steam train called Tom Thumb. Traveling on railroad became more popular than traveling by water, and that marked a big change in the way people and goods traveled. However, those railroads connected major cities only in the east coast of the United States. Americans wanted to be able to go from the east coast to the west coast. After six years of hard work, in 1869, the Transcontinental Railroad was completed. The Transcontinental Railroad connected the East Coast to the West. With it, people could travel from the East to the West. And before the Transcontinental Railroad, people paid a thousand dollars to go from one coast to the other. But after the Transcontinental Railroad, they paid only a hundred and fifty. Also, it took them months to go from one coast to the other, but after the Transcontinental Railroad, it took them only a week. The railroad had a major impact in the economy of this country. People needed food, water, shelter, restrooms on the trip. As a result, cities were built around the tracks and businesses in industry boomed. But this was not all. In 1873, Andrew Halliday, a British immigrant to the United States, invented cable cars. They were used in San Francisco, and it was popular for 30 years. Nowadays, San Francisco is known for its cable cars. Back then, steam engines and electrical engines were popular. However, in 1879, Carl Benn built the first gasoline-fueled automobile in Germany. A few years later, in the 1900s, the United States began to produce cars. That changed the way we lived our lives. People could move around more easily with cars, and suburban areas started to grow. Then, in 1904, the first and largest American subway line opened in New York. Cable cars, cars, and subways changed America because now Americans could commute to work. Innovations in water and on land were not enough. People wanted more. In 1903, the Wright brothers successfully flew an airplane for the first time. Eleven years later, the first commercial airline in the world opened for business. It flew from St. Petersburg to Tampa, Florida. Now, there are about 5,000 commercial airlines in the world, with the largest airline being Delta. The average number of flights a day is 43,700. As you can see, now transportation is easier, more comfortable, and cheaper. But we hope the future will bring more innovations that will make our lives even easier and better.